The girls have been very excited. Some of them already have big goals for socks and gloves and uh, sweaters and things like that, which uh, those would be very, very big projects <laughs> that hopefully they can accomplish on down the road. So I'm, I'm working on a blanket right now. I am, but I only have like that much done. <laughs> it fell off, so I had to redo it. The goal is um, for the girls to get comfortable in their knitting, and then they're gonna pick a project for a charity. We are going to make like hats, baby blankets, and we're gonna donate them to newborns. I started it mostly because I recently started knitting, learned how to knit. I really enjoyed it, and I thought some of the kids here at JTSD would. Cheryl and Beth, um, they're kind of helping out Mrs. Holmes with it. And they come over every week and knit with the girls. We do crafts at the Nixa Senior Center and we received a call from Summer here at the school asking if we would help to teach some girls uh, how to knit. I was a teacher in home economics, so this is right down my alley. I've done this numerous times and I like to see younger people, young kids learn a craft and this is a good one. They can do this their whole life. We also had um, another teacher, Miss Patton, ask if she could come in and help. We also have Lowlanders, who is over on Main Street. It's a local yarn shop, and she has given the girls a 15% discount on any supplies that they buy. Um, and I say girls because that's all that we've had sign up. I'm hoping for boys sometime, maybe next year if the club keeps going. But anyway, so Lowlanders has also offered her um, expertise. Her name is Jackie, and she has said that they have a knitting club that meets on Thursdays as well. And anytime we want to, we're welcome to go over and knit with them, or they may come on over here and knit with us at some point in time. My grandma, she's like, I'll teach you how to sew. And she's like, then you get to teach me how to knit. And I'm like, okay. My mom was like, man, that looks, that looks easy. And I'm like, trust me, it's not easy at all. I thought I was just gonna be like this. It takes a while, you have to like, go underneath, you have to take the end, connect it to the yarn, and wrap it around, and go under. Yeah, it was a lot, it was a lot more complicated than I thought. <laughs> and knitting's all about perseverance, and you gotta just keep, keep going and keep moving, and once you get it down, it's really fun, so I think you should try it. <laughs>